Welcome to the HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education. Today we will explain how to use PowerPoint to create video content for the flipped classroom method. The goals for today are to learn how to create recordings with PowerPoint. This will be very important as you will need an Office 365 license to create these recordings. To distinguish between screen recording and recording of slides, learn how to export a video and upload it to the Microsoft Stream. This is a closed platform of videos Microsoft has that is only for sharing videos within the organization, which affords us security when sharing videos with our students, while at the same time they share videos with their community. And also, at the end of this session, I will give you the Microsoft promotion code to redeem in the Microsoft Educator Center and earn some points. The first thing we need is to have installed the PowerPoint desktop version. To cover today's goals, we can't use the online version of PowerPoint. We need to have PowerPoint installed on our system. And for this, we need to have an Office or Microsoft license that is A3 or A5, which are the ones that includes the installable package of PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. If you do not have these educational licenses, with an Office Pro Plus license, it will also work. The second step we need to do is to activate the Recording tab in PowerPoint in case you haven't done so. Sometimes it may come on by default. Let's look a little at what the flipped classroom method is. It is a methodology that modifies the traditional teaching model, distributing certain learning contents outside the classroom and bringing homework to the classroom where it will be done with the help of the teacher. This generates an increase in the commitment and involvement of the students to the course content, thereby improving their understanding. An example of this is the creation of videos or interactive content for students, allowing for them to be watched in their spare time, and then in the online or face-to-face -face class to resolve any doubts together with the other students and the teacher. The information provided to students can be videos, podcasts, readings, or any multimedia content which allows the student to connect with the content. It is very important that this content be already created, that the student can see it as many times as needed to assimilate that information. Then on the day of class, they can ask the necessary questions to resolve any doubts that have arisen. What many of us understand by PowerPoint is that it is simply an application to create presentations, but it is really much more. With this tool, we can create tutorials or videos to record information about a particular class or topic. Today, we will explain how to make those screen recordings, how to make those tutorials, and how to apply the flipped classroom method. Let's start by setting up the recording tab of PowerPoint. The first thing we need to do is click on File, which is at the top left, and on the ribbon that appears on the left side. At the end, you will find the Options button. This will open another window, and we need to find the option Customize Ribbon. Then in the column of the Customize Ribbon, we must place the check mark in the option Recording. The options appear in alphabetical order, so you have to scroll down to find it and click OK. Then the Recording tab will automatically appear like this. There are two types of recordings in PowerPoint. We can record Slideshow and Screen Recording. They are two totally different things. In the slide recording, we can record everything we do on the slides, including voice comments. We can draw on each of the slides, and each slide will have its own content. That is, if we have a presentation with five slides, and on slide number one we welcome the course, that is the content that will be on that slide. On the second slide, there will be another voice comment with other drawings and so on. And the screen recording allows me to record all the content I show from my screen, any browser I open, or any program. That is to say that anything we open, everything will be recorded through this application. In fact, it works quite well for making tutorials, so I'm going to do two practice activities in order to show you how both recordings can be integrated into this PowerPoint. First, we're going to do a slide recording, Human Body Presentation. I have prepared some slides about the human body and the circulatory system. These are some 3D models that I have inserted to explain the parts of the heart. Imagine now that I'm a teacher and I want to explain from this PowerPoint the content in each slide, 
with Interactive 3D. So what we're going to do is go to the Recording tab, which is up here, and we have this option that says Record Slideshow. We have two options, Record from Current Slide or Record from Beginning. As I'm at the beginning, I just record it from the beginning. Now I'm going to put up the window that appears when I open this option so you can see it. Then here, I can insert drawn notes, and I can also delete or highlight certain content. And everything will be recorded when we save that PowerPoint. I can also set it up to record my voice and the camera in case I want to show myself talking to my students. Anyway, when we are ready to record, we start recording. Hey guys, welcome to this teaching unit about the human body and the circulatory system in which we will see the heart and we will also see the human body. The heart is located right here. We have the superior vena cava, the aorta, the pulmonary artery, the left ventricle. Here we could give a short description of each part of the heart. Let us try to remember some of the parts seen before. For example, where is the right ventricle? I'm going to put a mark so it is located here. See what I was doing? On each slide, there is content because I'm passing. Once I finished, I can click to stop. I close this recording editor, and you can see now that every slide has content. In the event that you click Present Slides, you would see all that I've done before, and with each change of slide, it would play what was previously recorded on this slide. Let's say this is an interactive PowerPoint. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm going to try to play it for you. Hey guys, welcome to this teaching unit about the human body and the circulatory system, in which we will see the heart and we will also see the human body. The heart is located right here. We have the superior vena cava, the aorta, the pulmonary artery, the left ventricle. Here we could give a short description of each part of the heart. Let us try to remember some of the parts seen before. For example, where is the right ventricle? Here in the slide, you see this audio icon. This means that there is a reproduction of a sound that we have recorded. What for? Well, to understand that there's a recording on that slide. Now, we have this presentation that we're going to save, and we can export this video in two ways. We can export it directly into this option, Export to Video. Or we can go to File, plus Export, plus Create a Video. And here, we can do it in Ultra HD 4K, or Full HD 1080. I think this one is pretty good. We make sure that this option is selected, Use Recorded Timings and Narrations, and we click Create Video. Then, we select where we want to save it on our computer, and here, you can see that the format in which it will be saved will be MPEG-4, which is MP4, and we click Save. Being a slide recording video, it doesn't matter the duration of each slide, because the slides will last the time it took to record on each slide, and it will automatically move on to the next. With this, we would create a video of the whole sequence. Then I can attach this recording that I have saved on my computer to another presentation. For example, here. So if right now I want to present, if I click here, it automatically selects the content of that hey presentation, guys, welcome to and it's also interactive. The human I'm talking, and, the and I'm pointing. System, ...in which we will see the heart, and we will also see the human body. The heart is located right here. We have the superior vena cava. Then we have the option of screen recording, which is what we know as recording the entire screen. For example, Let's say we want to make a tutorial of Microsoft Forms from the Office website. To do this, I would go to the Recording tab and click the option Screen Recording. Then the presentation will close directly, 
and here I can select the area I want to record. And as I wish to record the whole screen, I would select to the bottom corner down here. The options to record audio appear here. Record Laser Pointer. What will never be recorded is the audio that comes out from the computer. Then, once we're prepared, we're going to click the Record button. Hey guys, this is a tutorial where we are going to learn about forms. The first thing we have to do is go to the Office website, open the Forms tool, and we know that we can create a new form or a self-grading quiz. If we want to create a self-grading quiz, we click New Quiz. We name it, and we can add questions, possible answers, and so on. We would go on to explain it, and that's it. Once we have finished recording and we have done our tutorial on forms, if we drag the mouse up, we get an Options panel. This option allows you to pause the recording because maybe we have to go to the bathroom or whatever, or stop. It directly stops the recording where we want, so we stop, and you can see that the video has been inserted directly in our presentation. There is no longer a recording of slides, but it is a video of the whole screen. Now, I will click Present. Hey guys, this is a tutorial where we are going to learn about forms. The first thing we have to do is go to the Office website, open the there, Forms tool, There, you can see everything you know I recorded. Even if I had opened any other quiz. window, what is captured is the entire desktop. Quiz, we click new How do quiz. I save a video created with PowerPoint? And we can add questions. This is very important. We can do as I have shown before in the Human Body presentation using this option, Export to Video, from the Recording tab, or going to File, Export, Create a Video, and the rest will be the same as I explained before. I already saved this video so I can watch it, insert it in a presentation, or whatever or I can now upload it to YouTube, to Microsoft Stream, or any other video platform. How can we export the screen recording that we've made? This video can be exported directly by clicking on the right mouse button and click on Save Media As. Select where to save the video, then give it a name, Forms Tutorial. Here in Type, Media File will appear. This means that it will automatically be saved as an MP4. We click Save. Let's look for the video on our computer. Here it is. We already have these two videos that we created with PowerPoint in a super simple manner. Obviously, the challenge is that you prepare the presentation, prepare the content that you want to present in your class, or that you want the students to see before class. There is another thing I wanted to show you. That also, if we have an educational account, we can insert a form or a quiz in a PowerPoint presentation. This comes in very handy on its own. We directly launch the presentation for students to complete a form within the same presentation. You just have to go to the Insert tab, click on Forms, and here on the right, you can create a new one. If you choose these options, it will take you directly to Microsoft Forms application or you can create it before, and here you will see the list of the latest forms and quizzes that you have created. I will select this, and you can see that this is a form embedded in my presentation. And here, students could be filling in the answers. This will be a short example of a reading record to encourage students to read by having them complete their online reading records. Then, you could also embed self-grading questionnaires to assess a student's level of comprehension, before and after the lesson, to show progress, and to use the results to plan subsequent lessons and address common misconceptions that students may have. These quizzes can generate a grade or a feedback. Now, where can we upload these videos that we've created with PowerPoint? We can upload them to a platform, Microsoft Stream, and I'm going to show you where it is. By the way, we can only access the Microsoft Stream using an Office 365 account. In addition, we will only be able to share the videos with users from the same organization. And this is very important. The videos can never be viewed outside of the organization. They always remain within, and only the teachers and students, 
or people with whom we have shared the video that are inside the organization will be able to view them. So, to upload or watch a video in this platform, we are going to the Office website. And if you don't see the application here because you've never used it or because it doesn't appear, you can click on the search engine up in the magnifying glass, search for Stream, and it will launch. Here in this web page, we have several options. If you want to create content to upload in a video, you can click on Create, Upload Video. We'll search for the video that we just made about the human body. We can choose the language and give it a description. The video language is English. The language setting of a video allows for automatic subtitles. And while I'm talking, the subtitles appear. Now it's processing the video. And in the meantime, I can insert a thumbnail or cover image for my video. I can also allow everyone in my organization to see this video. So every member, in this case of the school, can find this video. And we can share it with anyone. We can also share it with specific users. In Options, we can enable or disable comments or generate subtitles if we choose to. Finally, we click Publish. Where can we watch our videos, the videos we've uploaded? We can go to My Content plus Videos. Right now, it says it's loading. Here, we can also find our channels or playlists that we've created. For example, in Channels, I can create a new channel about the human body, and I can give access to company-wide channel if I want anyone to see it, or a group channel if we have a team in Microsoft Teams, or we have a group that's made up of our students. We can also include an image, possibly of the human body. We give a description if we want to, and click to create. And it automatically comes out here. So what we're going to try to do is go to our video, which has been loading, and we're going to add it to the new channel we've created. Here are the options for the video. We simply select the option Add to Channel that we have here. I select Channels and search here for my channel of the human body and click Save. And when you go to your channels, it will show the video. Finally, we will share the code for today's training. It's the one you see on the screen. In case you are teachers who are very active in the Microsoft Educator Center, which is the link below, www.education.microsoft.com, then you can sign in with your Office 365 account for education or your Microsoft account and enter that code, and it will award you points to verify that you have done this training. Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education.